Yo, how's it going on, JRL family? Welcome back to the Sexiest Channel on YouTube. It is just reality back with an R reaction. Something a bit different. Uh, I've been, I, I get requested to do this on like so much, and I just never get around to doing it because I'm so focused on the, doing like the music side that I keep forgetting to do the comedian side. So uh, today we're going to go check out Lacquer Finner Larry. Let's get into the video. Don't really know what to expect in all this, to be honest with you. I have no idea. I don't know whether this is, is this is like a fun thing, but people, will, uh, I've had a lot of comments saying it's like funny, so uh, we're going to just get straight into the lush. I've no idea who the hell Lacafina Larry is. No clue. Um, I don't know whether he's going to destroy him in this or not. I don't really know. But we're going to get into this. So, three, two, one, and go. Bro, I get the most random best content ever, bro. Hello and welcome to Up Church's YouTube page. Today we are starring Wild Bill's uncle brother, and his name is Lacquer Thinner Larry. All right, Lacquer Thinner Larry, say whatever it is you gotta fucking say because you got this wild hair up your ass and you're like, I'm gonna be a YouTube star. Yay! <laughs> so maybe, maybe I can talk to you this way. I mean, yeah, maybe if you don't try to fuck my dick. <laughs> you can't block me on here. It don't matter if I block you or not, Lacquer Thinner Larry. I can't even kill your career. It hasn't even come alive yet. <laughs> and you can't make me take the video down. Oh, yeah, well, you can't ride it, my red rubber. You can't smoke all my dick rubber. So the truth and the facts will still be here. The truth is that what? You don't love me anymore? So either way, and I don't care if you respond. No, no, you care. You care. You care a lot. You're watching this video right now. What up, sugar? What up, sugar? What up? You want a fucking piece of me, motherfucker? <laughs> I've seen you out there riding your little four-wheelers, living your little life. Got a little dish and a little bitty spoon. It's all right to be little bitty. This guy needs a pussy and some titties. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's cool. Anyway, anyway, so let's just talk about this little shirt situation first. A dog bite. You barely can get my dog bite. Well, no, hold on. That's We're going to push that back. Gonna... Uh, I was hoping you would go ahead and get to the juicy part where you knitted me a shirt with your Martha Stewart ass, and I told you I didn't fucking want it. <laughs> Bruh, you're a fucking adult and you have tattoos all over you. Why are you crying because you didn't get to give me a shirt? Just a little bit. We're going to talk about KDL. Hell yeah, I'm so glad we're getting to talk about something that happened like two or three years ago that I fucking put all over Facebook that everyone else always seen. Yes! This is what I'm talking about! Bro, you should really like look into fucking, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> going to Cali and being a fucking director, bro. I mean, this is some Steven Spielberg shit right now, bro. Curveball like a motherfucker. <laughs> Remember KDL where you started a riot? Yes! <laughs> but yet and still you wanted all the fans to be safe? Yes! But you lied to them and didn't come back on the stage. We started to ride. We put everybody in danger. Fuck yeah, some Motley Crue shit. We were all in danger after that. Uh, no. The real men were probably knocking people out. You were just probably like, oh my god, save me. <laughs> Thanks for that, by the way. You're welcome, Lacquer Thinner Larry. And who was that guy? Who was that guy that gave you that video evidence that you needed? <laughs> Shit, brother, I ain't no fucking telling who it was. I ain't got a fucking claim. I mean, I don't think it helped your ass out any because you still had to pay a whole bunch of money, didn't you? Shit, I don't know. Probably I don't fucking remember. <laughs> yeah, that had to hurt the pocketbook. <laughs> if I don't remember, it probably wasn't that bad. But that was me, I yeah. Go that's that right. Line. Oh, sorry, guy. <laughs> and I believe I still have the video where you sent me and you told me that all the time, VIP, just holla at your boy. You remember that? Hell yeah, the new Mortal Kombat just downloaded! <laughs> Do I remember what? <laughs> I forgetted what we were talking about. Probably not. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you don't remember too much about the A1s that's been there from day one? Oh, I know all about the A1s from day one. But I also know about the lazies who are crazy. They want to hate me and post a video on YouTube to get paid, bitch. <laughs> but anyway. But anyway. 
But anyway, but anyway, you should be a fucking lawyer, bro. Hey, and your little nut riders are hitting me up, by the way, making threats. How you gonna sit here and call my fans nut riders when you're nut riding harder than the hardest nut rider that ever nut rode? Oh! So, you know, all these people you're sending to do harm to me. Yeah, I hope you know I summoned a whole truckload full of little yellow minions to come to your house and sneak down your <laughs> chimney. Because, I mean, I do got the screenshot if you want to hang me from a cedar tree. Now, now, kerosene Larry or whatever the fuck we were calling you a minute ago. Now you're lying. Because I got the screenshot, too. I said I would fuck you up with a cedar branch. This one, to be exact. <laughs> I even stained it and everything. Look. You see how sharp the end of it is? I made it like that on pipe -ish. Just like I got the, just like I got the, just like I got the, got the, just like I got the, I got the screen shots of your brother threatening me. Oh, boo-hoo, your life's so hard. My fucking 14-year-old brother said he was gonna beat you up. And he probably can beat you up. <laughs> I got all that, so we're good. Hell yeah, bro, that'll totally hold up in the principal's office. <laughs> but, I, I saved your ass at KDL. Damn, I never knew that, bro. Thank you <laughs> from the bottom of my fart. And by the way, for y'all watching, an upchurch VIP pretty much consists of walking into the show free. You don't get to get nowhere near the motherfucker. He still hides back there. <laughs> you see, what he's trying to say is when my security guard sees someone and they're like, hey, hey, where's the motherfucker? Where's the Is he running away? I have a tampon to give him a used one out of my vagina. Where is he? Yeah, you don't get to come in the back if you do stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, I understand why you took a year off. I mean, there's a couple of venues you've pretty much shit on. <laughs> you smell that? And it didn't hold up to your obligations. Correct. You pissed a bunch of people off in Kentucky who wanted to kill you. Still alive. So you probably secluded yourself onto the ghost ranch and got all this protection around you, which... Maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe he is an intergalactical shapeshifter <laughs> from a different dimension. <laughs> like Alex Jones said. Maybe that's why our truck is always shitting on Alex Jones. Maybe he's covering up something. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to help me put this conspiracy together? I don't blame you. I mean, you know, if I had a bunch of crazy motherfuckers after me, too, I'd probably do the same thing. Well, duh. Why do you think I made this really sharp stick for? <laughs> to fight them all off. God. <laughs> but anyway. That sucks. Right, yeah, maybe. Fuck it. Anyways. Sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> Moving along. Let's talk about this shirt that you were so disrespected by. For one, it wasn't your brother's place or your farmhand's place to have to handle your business. I wouldn't have had to message a whole bunch of people if you knew how to respond to fans, but you fucking don't. Do you realize how crazy you sound right now? It's not your place to say that you don't like that shirt. It's not your place. It ain't anyone's place but yours, Ryan. Why are you breaking up with me? The only way you respond to people is either A, on your Facebook page where you can get all your nut riders to help you bash someone. Or also because Facebook's a better place if you don't want everyone to have your number with dumbass. Or B, on Instagram. Also another place where you can communicate with people that's not your cell phone, dumbass. I mean, excuse me, this is YouTube. Well, hooray for you. You half ass know what the fuck you're doing. Like I said, I don't use this motherfucker. I don't live on here like you do. I'd rather go jack off in a corner. Okay. <laughs> you to you, bro. What did you just say? I'd rather go jack off in a corner. Woohoo! Parent of the year! I'm gonna go jack off in a corner. What the fuck? I've seen you out there riding your little four wheelers, living your little life. All right, so like, which one is it? Do I stay in the house all the time or do I ride four wheelers or do you just stalk me every fucking day? But either way, but the shirt was a picture of your grandfather. Now, I had no way of knowing that that was the actual obituary picture because you don't respond to motherfuckers. Yeah, but then again, this goes back to the, like, not letting crazy people in the VIP section, you know what I'm saying? It goes back to that shit. Like, listen to this scenario. Hello, love church. I need to meet up with you. I need to give you this fucking shirt I made you. It's for your birthday. It's a picture of one of your dead relatives. I want you to have it. I don't want you to wear it. Yeah, take his VIP passes away. What? I don't know why. Maybe you're... Wait, What? Did this guy give him a fucking shirt with a dead relative on it? That's a bit fucking creepy. Like, if someone came up to me and gave me a shirt with my mum's face on it that I didn't know, and like, I'd want to know where the fuck you found my mum's, like, my mum 
you know, face from. Like, I, and you try handing that to me, I probably, I probably break your neck. Like, I'm not even fucking with you. Like, <laughs> like uh, you're not family, bruv. Why are you, why are you doing that? <laughs> um, you know, to be fair, you know, I'm sure it seems, I mean, you know, I mean, probably at the time, he probably wanted to kick your ass and he probably wanted to fucking destroy you, but that's a bit weird, bro. Like, you're not family. So I don't know why you're fucking giving him fucking a top with, like, his granddad on. That's a bit weird. Like I said, like, if someone came up to me that I didn't know and they gave me a top with my mum on it, like, I'd, like I said, I'd probably break your neck. Like, I'm not even fucking with you. I'm not going to prison. <laughs> you know what I mean? I ain't fucking about. That's a bit weird. You know what I mean? Like, if it was my sisters or my brother or, like, you know, my family that did it, then, yeah, I'd understand more, but... That's a bit weird. Okay. Okay. All right, cool. Ego's a little bit bigger than your fan base now. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it was that. I think it was your Baphomet-looking-ass wife saying she was going to fucking cast a spell on me. You crazy fuck. But that's cool. I don't give a fuck how big your ego is, how big your fan base is. Well, good, because I don't care how big the voodoo doll is of me, motherfucker. You know why? Because you're probably going to pull the dick off of it and stick it in your mouth. I'm still going to listen to your music. Yeah, all right. I'm still going to suck your voodoo dick, motherfucker. <laughs> Just so you know. Why, thank you. And I hope that eats you up. I'm only going to listen to it because it's free on YouTube. You see, we both win in that scenario because I put it on YouTube for free for people who can't afford it because I love them too. And secondly, I still get paid by the fucking internet government for the spin that you listen to my song for. So thank you and no thank you at the same fucking time. I wouldn't spend one, guy, one goddamn red cent on that. Well, good thing pennies ain't red. <laughs> Just so we're clear on that. Yeah, motherfucker. I don't fucking like you, but I'm, I'm still gonna listen to your fucking music and give you even more Spotify spins. Hope you're fucking pissed about it. I'm extremely angry. Never have, actually. Never will. Hell yeah, foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> and as far as your fans hitting up other people, talk about you're gonna sue over this shirt while you can't. Yo, I'm not gonna sue you, you little fucking worm. Why in the fuck would I sue you for a shirt anyway? I wouldn't take that happiness away from you. Look in the fucking background of your video. You already fucking stapled the rest of your wardrobe to the goddamn wall. <laughs> you can. The shirt was, the shirt, excuse me, the picture was sent to me through someone else. But here's, here's my problem with it. It was disrespectful. You did it in a disrespectful fashion. You could have hit me up yourself as a man. Yeah, but that's what you don't understand. I don't have to fucking hit you up. I don't fucking know you. And you sound like you need some mental help. Okay? I'm fucking, and your wife is over here talking about, I'm gonna fucking cast a spell on y'all. Dog! I don't think you understand. I don't have to do nothing, you fucking say. Actually, I'm gonna piss you off. You know how? Ending this video right here, not even finishing it. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck you! Now I'm going to make me some chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Okay, so what I get from this video, obviously this guy, Lacafidelari or whatever the fuck his name is, he's um, he's clearly been like oh, trying to fucking bum up church for a while now. And uh, he hasn't really had the opportunity um, because obviously up church doesn't want him near him. Which is kind of understandable, like you know, especially when you know, you know the fucking person's wife is trying to cast a fucking spell on you. And plus, you know, the whole thing about him saying that someone sent it to him. Like, if you was a decent person, in my personal opinion, like, if someone sent you a picture of, you know, of Up Church's granddad and things like that, then, you know, ideally you would say to that person, like, you know, that's a bit out of order, why are you sending it to me? You know, I don't want it, I'm not going to do anything with it, sort of thing, blah, blah, it's not nice, things like that. But instead, you go and put that fucking picture on a T-shirt. And try to give it to Upchurch for his birthday or for a concert or whatever. Like, bro, that's a bit much. You know what I mean? Like, for the fact that you're fucking trying to suck his dick every fucking given time and moment. Like I said, man, like, someone ever tried to do that to me with my mum on the t-shirt, my mum on the t-shirt, then I, 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 fuck. 
mate, <laughs> my mum means too much to me to allow that to happen. So it ain't gonna happen, man. But yo, uh, I mean, it's funny in that. It's just, it's just, I don't know, man. It's just this, this guy is a bit fucking creepy. Like up church, obviously, it's funny. I'm laughing at up church, which is cool, but. There's lack of Finn and Larry geezer, man. Like, he's a bit creepy, isn't he? You know what I mean? He's, he, he, it wouldn't surprise me if he's tried fucking going over to Upchurch's house and look for his windows and seeing if he's sleeping. Like, that wouldn't surprise me. And, uh, yeah, man, it's a bit weird. But, hey, I don't know, man. You do you, in it? You do you. Uh, but don't come try to fucking come onto this channel, mate. Well, when I checked, like, I typed in Upchurch, lack of Finn and Larry. Um... I, I've seen like loads of things like and it says like lack of Phil and Larry responses and lack of lack of Phil and Larry or Wild Bill or whatever responding and all that lot. And it's not like responding to other it's responding to like other people. Um, so uh, I don't know, man. Like you know, don't try to respond to this place. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it won't work. It won't work that way. But uh, I don't know, man. Just just stop being a bum boy, basically. You know what I mean? Just allow you allow your life to be your life, bro. Like. Stop trying to jump on up church at every given moment. My God, like he's got 1.6 million fucking subscribers. Allow the guy, man. You know what I mean? If he was, if he was going to allow, like you know, if he wanted to fucking see every single fucking person, like he has to go through 1.6 million people to do that. It's just, come on, bro. Just be a fan of his music. Be a fan of his videos. You get to, like you said, you're still going to listen to his fucking music because it's free on YouTube. All right, cool. Well done. You know, simple as that. There you go. You'd have to say no more. But fucking trying to make a video out of it to get your clout just for the sake of like fucking whatever. But you know, at the end of the day, bruv, like you done wrong. Like it's just wrong. But I don't know, man. Well, anyways, guys, that is literally me done for today. I think this is my fourth one. Uh, let me know down below what other videos you'd like me to react to. If there's any more other with like lack of Finn and Larry or this wild Bill geezer, then. Uh, leave it down below then I'll try and find them and get some more comedy videos out I guess so then that way then you guys can enjoy more of that as well instead of just enjoying the music so I get asked all the time to do more videos instead of just music so I'm going to bring out up church more of the funny side as well so then that way then we could both react to it in the same sort of way we could both laugh or we could both get angry about something I don't know but either way if you did like this video please make sure to smash the like button hit the subscribe button make sure you share with all your friends and family hit the bell notification so you never miss a video from me Thank you very much for watching. Take care and bye-bye.